Okay, hey y'all, I'm back and I'm about to get started on a few steps. Although I don't have my um, oven yet, I have been learning a few things from um, different channels and I did find out that you don't have to actually bake during each coating. So right now on Sweetie, I am going to be working on her lips and I also got my another uh, delivery today in the mailbox. So guess what guys? I got my needles and my other rooting tool. So I have two rooting tools, one for me and one for my mom. And I have more needles coming. These are the eyes for baby Kit Rena. And these are my needles. But we're not gonna be rooting just yet because we do have to um, bake the colors once we get started. So I am excited that those items are here. Okay, um, these are more plugs and rings for the kids. So we don't need those yet. And the body for Rena, it's on its way as well. And this is the Rena Fit from Bountiful Babies. Okay. So, and she is a 20 inch, she's 20 inches, and the sweetie kit, she is 21 inches. So, I have some newborn size babies that I'm going to be working on, and I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, I have my, I'm going to have a my teacher tutorial on, which I am watching in um, the teacher is through enchanted creatures and Rena actually has is going to have open eyes my lighting is so bright there you go so those are her eyes wow this is beautiful so I'm going to have fun doing her undertoning which I do have to go into the creases look at those ears oh my god so look at the two different head sizes. That is so cool. So I am going to um, work on their lips. And um, let me try to clear the table some at least. Okay, um, my Mona Lisa thinner didn't come, so I did go to Walmart and retrieve paint thinner. Okay, so I did put that inside of a little squeeze bottle to be able to put it on the um, palettes to um, mix the painting with. I have my little wedges and I have used clippers to go ahead and nip the wedge for when I'm Modding, mottling, mottling. I have my sticks to mix my colors, but I also have my uh, brush set as well. But since I'm only going to be doing working on their lips, which I can sit them out and let them uh, dry and do a layer or two before um, I have to worry about putting them in the oven, that's what I'm going to get started on doing. So. You guys stay tuned keep watching okay so I have the ethnic lip blush and nail color I don't know if you guys can see that okay mind you I am NOT a professional reborner I am just now learning and working on my first kit so let's just clarify that and get that cleared up <laughs> this is my first time um, reborning and I have watched a lot of tutorials and been trying to keep myself educated on it so don't quote me on everything that I'm doing okay I'm squeezing just a little bit of thinner in here because these this uh, palette is not like deep with holes this one may be just a little deeper okay and I'm not using 
the big brush I'm gonna be using the smaller ones to be able to paint one um, let's see so we're gonna take a little bit of the ethnic um, lips blush and nail not a lot if it I was told that if it gets too dark you can add um, a little vein blue little bit more than that okay. and you test your color on the sponge just to see how light or how dark it's gonna be So for the first layer, I don't want it to be too dark because I'm just going to be outlining the lips. So that's how it looks. gonna stir it in till it's fully mixed okay then I'm gonna go in with the smaller brush let me make sure I don't have my nail tip brush this is the really really thin one the liner and this is what I'm gonna do the nail tips with it's kind of hard to see because it's really really thin okay I'm gonna pour just a little bit more kind of wet my brush a little bit have any of my paper towel available and that's what I forgot to get so I'm using a you can use a towel or a rag okay so on my thin brush I'm gonna do the outlining of the lips one side at a time and it's gonna go on really thin to get a little bit more color out of there okay. I'm gonna take my other brush kind of brush it down A bit more red so I can get some more coloring
just wiping it just a little bit at a time. Again, mind you guys, I'm basically just doing a little bit at a time, practicing because this is my first kit that I'm working on. So don't, please don't quote me on everything that you are watching right now. <laughs> I'm just kind of learning as I go along. And I also am still tuned in to watching Trying to get a little bit more, a little darker where you can see it, but not too dark. There we go. And I'm just brushing the outside. I don't know if you can see it because of the lighting. So that's one side. I don't know if y'all can see the difference in her lip color. Oh, I'm so excited. I mean, what harm can you do when you are able to have, you know, some kids that you're able to practice on? So, I mean, hey, the only way to go is up. Okay, now I'm gonna paint line the other side oh. use the wedges to kind of soak up any extra painting although we're gonna line it to add depths to it eventually so I'm just following the outline and get a little bit more I think it's more of this thinner. And it's not odorless, so I smell everything. <laughs> okay. So I'm just following the lines of the lip. Okay. You guys can see that. Braiding up her lips. And bring that down. Oh, I'm already loving it. Already loving it. <laughs> So this side is a little bit more darker than the other side, but I'm gonna be doing more coating. So I don't know if you guys can see her lip color from the bottom to the top. Oh, my lighting is so bright. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let's do, I'm gonna try the other side one more time since I've darkened the color. Yeah, I do think it's the thinner, so I would definitely to um, start working on their heads. Um, I would wait for the Mona Lisa coloring. Um, thinner, sorry. Oh. Okay. 
it's exciting i was getting just a little impatient on waiting because my oven is not going to be in until next week through amazon so i was like well i watched a video that has told me i shouldn't bake in between each layer so i was like okay that was my sign to start practicing make our circle too dark a little lump on the lip oh I love this already Can y'all see it? Look at that. Oh my God, it's amazing. Look at that top lip. Yes, love it. Okay, now I'm going to do the bottom. And then I'll probably do the nose, inside of the nose inside of the ears okay let's see that bottom lip is a little thinner and top I'm gonna ha have to go inside as well. Oh, I'm loving this already. amazing okay so as I've seen during my little tutorial class like awesome I don't want it too thick go inside the mouth Oh, sorry, I'm all off camera. I'm trying to 
my mom always called me a perfectionist so I'm over here like really trying to perfect these lips they're gonna need more coating of course so I have to wait for this little bit to dry so I don't know if you guys can see that but so far those little lips are pink Now I know using this thinner, clean strip thinner, to not pour as much. Okay. All right, this bottom lip. So I'm kind of pressing with the other brush in between very softly to kind of blend the color into the lips and then to her mouth because it's it's not open but it's got a little dip inside of her mouth so once I go to my um, second coating I mean, when I say this light is bright, it is bright. All right, guys, so let me work on it a little bit more. But this is my first step, which is her lips. And then I'm going to do her ears in the creases of her inside of her nose, make it a little bit more real. And I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. I've been over here playing with my colors and I wanted to go ahead and give my baby some color. So as I said, I don't have my oven just yet. So right now I'm doing a third layer of the colors that I mix, which I mix the flesh seven no actually i didn't mix the flesh seven i'm lying sorry i mixed where did i put it flesh five and i also mixed flesh three and it gave me this warm almost biracial color i could leave it at this color but once i bake it I'm going to do another layer or two. Look at the lips, guys. Oh, my God. I just love the lips. I love, love, love the lips. So I'm kind of proud of myself. I started getting nervous when it came to um, modding with the color and the on the whole head. But it has not been baked yet. So this is how it looks. Almost like a newborn where their skin is kind of like not fully colored but it does have coloring in it so I'm just over here dipping and dabbing with my colors and this has took me a few hours <laughs> a few hours it is after 10 o'clock I've been sitting here doing this since I want to say 7 
so I've been blending and playing around now I'm about to do some veining before I darken the color a little bit more I'm trying to decide how dark I actually want this baby to be so as you see the difference this is how pale this one was look at the difference so the color is definitely working so next I'm going to mix I'm cleaning the brush because I still have the browns on it and this is one of my brushes from the Dollar Tree that I'm using to uh, take the paint with so oh, which one the blue veining it looks dark okay I'm gonna take the thin brush again and make sure there's no more color of the red or brown on my brush and I'm going to start from the back of the head No straight lines, just kind of squiggly because that's how our veins are in our arm. So I'm kind of putting the veins in. it a little bit to dry my paint in put too many veins although we do have a lot of veins okay, let me do just a little bit on this side because he's missing she's missing I don't know why I keep saying he uh, that's my son I'm waiting for <laughs> okay put a little bit over here and we go on to the ear Some people don't like the veins. I think it just give it that realism look. That's amazing. That is amazing, guys. Take a look.
So just depending on how dark um, my Reborn is going to be once I bake and put another layer of color on it. Um, we'll see how these veins look if I have to darken them again. But so far, I am satisfied. It looks like it has hair, but it doesn't. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. It's already looking real. <laughs> All right, guys. Keep watching. Okay, guys. I'm on to head number two. I feel like if I go ahead and get a head start before the oven gets here next week, um, I can just put them right in the oven, go ahead and bake them, and then do my other two um, coatings just to see how dark I want to get them. So as I said, I am so proud of this head, super proud, got my veining done, I got the lips done. I find that doing the undertones on an ethnic baby is better to do after um, all of my baking and tone, um, baking is done. So for this baby, I'm also doing ethnic because I mostly have ethnic painting colors, but I will be um, getting into the other coloring for like Caucasian babies as well. So I mixed the Flesh 7, Flesh 5, and Flesh 3 all into this one. And I put just a little hint of the vein color into here just to see if it gives me a different color effect on um, Kit Rena. I was gonna get a new sponge. Let me go ahead and get a new sponge. Okay, so I'm just brushing it onto there this time I actually wash that's why you see the legs and stuff out I actually washed them I did not wash uh, kit sweetie um, head first I totally forgot um, but yes so I washed it this time and I'm gonna go ahead and pounce the head As I say I am a beginner at reborning this is my first time doing everything so if you are someone who is used to reborning or you have seen it done differently please don't judge me <laughs> because as I said this is my first time so it's a lot of things that I am doing that is probably you know way different than you know what somebody else does or what you're used to seeing being done and as I said I'm still waiting on other items as my oven and my Mona Lisa paint um, thinner is gonna be here between June I think it said June 6th second and June 8th and I'm like oh my god like this is torturing this is torturing I want to start practicing so just knowing that I don't have to uh, bake right away so at least um, after I do bake once my oven gets here you know I can go ahead and start baking in between um, those coats. I'm getting in the small areas. Rena's head is a lot smaller than Sweetie's, although they're only an inch apart in sizes. And so hard that limbs and everything, but I'm just coating everything right now. And I'll do the inside of the nose. And you, she actually has like a little, a little bit of the tongue. I don't know if you can see it inside of her mouth. So that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be real fun. So it's like the first one, um, the sweetie one. You know, I'm just learning 
the steps and you know seeing what I can do different from the first one you know and change up things as I go along if it wasn't correct the first time but I mean how can you make a mistake if you're not you know practicing and going from there this is gonna be a mighty I don't want to make the video too long because it makes the uploading you know a lot harder it takes forever to upload so I don't want to make it too long it's already 11:34 p.m. <laughs> so as I said I'm gonna go ahead and do this one I did three coats of color on the other kit so but I didn't do the priming first on it so I'm going the correct way this time coating it first and then doing the mouth and everything else Try not to touch the lips. I love the lips. It seemed like as soon as I did the lips on the other kit, the doll started looking alive already. <laughs> I had to tell my mom, look, video uh, call me, please. I need to show you this. As soon as I popped the veins on it, I was like, okay, okay, look at you on head so I am currently proud of myself this is something that is very exciting to me and I cannot wait to see the outcome of everything I'm trying to be very careful not to touch the lips on it um, I can correct it if it does just get a brush with some thinner to clean it okay so I just want to make sure I got it everywhere and I can use a brush to get behind the ears and into the creases so this one went a little faster than the other because I did the lips first just following a tutorial and I was like, wait, her head looked like it has been primed with the color base already. What am I doing? But hey, practice made perfect. And at least I know I can order more kits and just keep working now that I have my paintings. And they're not expensive at all. You get a set of eight for $33. That's awesome. Or if you don't want the set and you already have a certain um, colors and you need to just order just a separate one or two they're like four dollars six dollars so they have good pricing on bountiful babies excellent they are out of stock on a lot of things um, so I ended up having to order things through Amazon which are the same and a little cheaper so Check it out. Look at that. I love how the color coating looked because Sweetie didn't look like that at first. <laughs> so my mom was amazed. She was like, how did you get it that color? How did you get it like that? I'm like, mom, this is the color that they come. And this is after you start coloring. She's like, oh my God. <laughs> she was showing my dad. It's so exciting, it's exciting. And she's like, well, whenever you ready for me to step in and help, I'm ready. So once we get the oven and start baking and she's, you know, wants to do the hair routine. So I'm excited about that. Cause there's so many things that my mom and I have done together. Uh, we've worked at the rental car place together. We worked at the nursing home together. We've worked at the airport together. We've worked at the salon together. We've opened up our own salon. We started the braiding at the beach together 20 years ago. So it's just exciting 
to, you know, be able to have my mom by my side. So that's awesome. Look at that. That's just the first coat. So I'm going to go ahead and do the lips and everything. And I'll see you guys on the next video.